Hey, what's going on? My name is Daniel Calderon and welcome back to Corner Talks, the morning routine. Some of us have it, some of us don't. I'm here to tell you I'm a big advocate about waking up in the morning and knowing exactly what you want to do before you conquer the day. And it starts with those little tasks, those little bit of actions that lead to good habits. I'm not talking about brushing your teeth and taking a shower. Those are givens. You should be doing that, please for the sake of everybody else, brush your teeth and take a shower. I'm talking about the little things that I'm here to discuss today. The things that benefit you, the things that help you keep focused, that enable you to be more productive in the day. Because a lot of people, especially now, will feel stressed. A lot of people will feel anxious and they don't know why. And I strongly believe, for myself speaking, that when you're overwhelmed, when you're feeling heightened pain, heightened anxiety, heightened stress, it all stems from not being prepared. And I'm here to discuss with you my morning routine so maybe you can benefit from it or maybe you can implement your own so that way you won't have to experience another bad day again. First thing I do right when I wake up is I take a drink of water. I take a drink of water because it helps replenish the body. The body when you're sleeping burns a lot it is trying to keep you alive. And after an eight hour sleep, the reason why you might feel thirsty is because of that reason. It just makes me feel more relaxed and more clear minded because again, I'm replenishing my body. I'm giving back um, what I kind of lost. I do choose to exercise. And if you're in a regiment that you're trying to lose weight and you're trying to keep to a strict diet, it helps with uh, intermittent fasting. It helps with keeping full. When you drink water first thing in the morning, um, you don't feel so prone to going downstairs in the pantry and raiding it, you know, making waffles, make, eating cookies, just splurging in food because you're putting something in your stomach that uh, makes you feel more full. Another benefit I find drinking water first thing in the morning is it helps with my cognitive skills, my mental performance. I'm sure that it could be all in my head, but when I go to start a task or when I'm reading, for instance, or just, again, um, trying to take in what I have for the day, I notice I'm more alert. I notice I'm more aware and I, I feel more invested. I feel more excited and motivated. And again, that takes part in keeping yourself hydrated. The next thing I do is make my bed. There's a lot of people I know that don't really make their bed in the morning and I can never understand why. For me, making my bed is, as funny as it sounds, a sense of accomplishment. Yes, I said that. When you make your bed, you feel like you've done something. You've done something. The first thing you did in the day is something. And a lot of people, when they start their day, they don't know where, where to begin. Um, they feel lost, they feel confused, sometimes overwhelmed. And again, by doing a little task, like just making your bed, does wonders for the mind. It basically is reassuring the fact that you're on the right path, you're doing things um, that are gonna benefit you throughout the day. But aside from it being an accomplishment, for me, I also like the fact that it's tidy, it's clean. In my earlier videos I discussed about organization. I'm a huge advocate. I'll be discussing even more in my future videos about why you need to be organized, why your mind needs to declutter and you can start with your room. When my bed's not made, the few times that I forget to or I'm just in a rush or I don't care, it is very uh, discouraging to conquer the day. Um, I believe it. Like it, it's psychologically, you don't realize it, but it's unmotivating. I still get things done. I still, you know, do what I have to do. But coming back home and realizing, or you just see when you're about to go to bed that your bed's a mess and sheets are everywhere in the pillows, it's not really um, encouraging. It's not really good for the soul. So once the simple, simple things of drinking water and making your bed is done, then you need to get that heart rate going. For me, I choose to exercise. Now, given the circumstances of the pandemic, given the fact that gyms are closed, given the fact that, you know, maybe a lot of us don't even want to leave our house, I get it. It's very hard to find the motivation. It's very hard to find the mental strength to keep fit, keep active. But I'm here to tell you, it is vital, it is very important that you always, always, always find time for yourself to keep energized to keep that heart rate going. I'm going to tell you, you know, you can go on a treadmill, you can get yourself a treadmill like I did and do a great run for, or a walk for a half an hour to an hour, highly recommended. Or you can do simple things 
do some push-ups. Do 10, then 20, increase day by day by day. Stretch if you have to. I should be taking my own advice because I don't do it enough. But stretching, I've heard, does wonders for the body. Wake up in the morning and you just, you know, kind of get those joints, you know, expanding. I look kind of funny doing it, but <laughs> what I'm trying to say here is get the body moving, get the body active. It releases endorphins. It then, you know, raises your dopamine, which helps motivate you to get you pumped for whatever's to come in the day. Find any sort of exercise, any activity that requires you to get your body moving for at least five to 10 minutes every morning. Because if you were to wake up, if you were to just wake up and go to the chair, turn on your virtual meeting and just start your day at the office, whatever it is you're pursuing, it is not gonna do anything. It is not gonna do you any good. You're not gonna feel the same motivation, the same drive, the same energy if you or to move your body, get your heart rate going as soon as you wake up. So now that you've worked out, I hope you showered, you got brushed your teeth, you wash your face, you do all that, all that stuff. I don't care what order that you do it, get that all out of the way, it's done. Now we get to the list. And this is the list where you write down what you have for the day, your to-do list. Now, a lot of people probably don't do it. Um, I do it for myself the night before, and if I miss it, the morning of, but highly recommended the night before, and I'll talk to about in another video my nightly routine. But you look at that list that you made for yourself, and you go over it, you read it, every bullet, and you see if you missed anything. You see if something needs to be added. But more importantly, you take in and visualize what you will accomplish today. Exercise, meditation, drawing, reading, editing, filmmaking, connect with this person, connect with that person. You visualize in your mind, I will be doing this by the end of the day. And you do that every day, every morning. You make sure that you're visualizing, you're taking into account, and you're holding yourself accountable on what you need to accomplish. Because when we don't have a sense of what we need to complete, when we don't have a sense of what we want to pursue, we oftentimes feel lost. And I'm speaking to you from experience where when you feel lost, you get overwhelmed, you get discouraged, and you don't want to conquer the day. You don't want to do anything. But by having a list, by keeping organized, writing it out, telling the universe, this is what I want to do today. I'm telling you, you have a higher chance. Productivity increases tenfold, exponentially. And the very last thing that's part of my morning routine before I start the day is writing down all the things that I'm grateful. Not my to-do list, but the things that make me happy, the things that made me realize why it's worth living. Because we don't have moments where we consider all the things that we possess. We consider all the luxuries we have in our life. I was talking to a friend the other day and he was saying, you know, we're in the 1%. And I live in Canada, I live in Toronto, the biggest city in Canada. And in the context of the world, I'm from the 1%. And that made me realize how appreciative I should be. Yeah, as much as I want to pursue my dreams, as much as I'm still going to be ambitious and I want more for myself, whenever I feel down, whenever I feel like self-pity or depressed, I got to remind myself that in the grand scheme of life, I'm on the right track and I'm very fortunate. So whatever it is you write on that piece of paper, I don't care if it's materialistic or superficial, write it down. And you'll remind yourself, you'll make your brain realize, you know, I'm very fortunate, I'm very lucky than a lot of, a lot of times I give myself credit for, a lot of times I take for granted. And imagine if you removed one of those things off the list or it didn't exist, would you be happy? Thank you guys for joining me on another Corner Talks. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen to my morning routine. I really hope it's benefited you, maybe inspired you um, for yourself if there's one or two things that I discussed where you can implement your own. And again, conquer the day, reduce your stress and realize how focused you can be if you just follow an organized routine. If you agree or disagree to the things I said about having a morning routine, please leave your comments down below. I always love to hear your thoughts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care and I'll see you soon.